Chances are, if you like to send and receive text messages, then you know that autocorrect can be your best friend, until it goes wrong, in which case it can be your worst enemy. Case in point. Right now, inside of every one of the hundreds of trillions of cells in your bodies, there are genetic text messages being sent and received, and your body's genetic autocorrect is doing its best to keep up. Unfortunately, it's not perfect. Sometimes it makes mistakes. These are genetic mutations. They can result in genetic disease, and those, like when texting autocorrect goes wrong, can be disastrous. My presentation this afternoon is on how we can treat genetic diseases. So the question you're all asking yourselves now is, how do we treat genetic diseases? I'll tell you. Exon skipping is a molecular technology that uses small synthetic DNA-like molecules. You can think of them like DNA band-aids that can stick to a specific region of a gene so that when that sequence is being read to create a protein and it comes to that region bound up with a DNA band-aid, it's skipped over, it's ignored, and that mutated region is not included in the protein product. That's how you treat a genetic disease. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is the most common, most lethal genetic disease in children worldwide. Characterized by progressive muscle wasting and muscle weakness, children are wheelchair bound by 10 or 12, on a respirator, and dead not long before the 20s, and there's no cure. But exon skipping could help, because the majority of patients with this disease have a mutation in a very specific region of a gene. So, if we can design DNA band-aids to bind that area and skip it and produce a protein, we could treat the majority of patients with this disease. And that's my project. I've taken cells isolated from patients with this disease, and I've designed several of these DNA band-aids to try and skip out that mutated region and make a protein. Thanks to gene sequencing, molecular and protein analysis, I've successfully been able to do so. But why do you care? I don't see a lot of people who look like they have muscular dystrophy in here tonight. What do you care about exon skipping and DNA band-aids? Well, do you know anyone who does have muscular dystrophy? Or Huntington's disease? Parkinson's disease? How about ALS? AIDS? Cancer? This technology one day could be used to treat all of them, and that day is not far distant. That's why it's important. So in conclusion, just because your body's genetic autocorrect might fail, thanks to new technologies like exon skipping, the right genetic message can still get through. Thank you for my th three minutes.